Hello and welcome to a brand new series called Cool and Goods. In these videos, we will be taking a look at some neat features World Thunder has that not many people know about. This can be anything from an insignificant detail in the game, all the way to a major gameplay mechanic. Alright, enough rambling, let's get on to the first Cool and Good. Opening your binoculars to the small sound effect. If you look at the sky while it is raining, your screen will temporarily have raindrops on it. The tracking radar on planes actually stay on your screen if you drive your payload. You can change the color of the tickets bar in the settings. If you set a keybind to it, you can independently move your machine gun on some tanks. If you don't have parts researched, you can still go into a cab zone and repair your tank. You can zoom out further in playing cockpits. This is pretty useful in sim battles. The KA-50 Black Shark can fly perfectly well without a tail. If you set a keybind for it, you can go into the driver view of a tank. This is very useful in simulator battles where you don't have as much control over your camera. If you go to the driver view on trucks, you get a different view than what you would get on tanks. Amphibious vehicles can drown if they are forced underwater. The PVY can open its landing gear underwater and drive onto the land. If you attach a tow rope onto a friendly tank and jump from a cliff, you can float in the air. You're still attached. <laughs> what? Aircraft and helicopters can capture points in ground and naval battles. The ASU-57 can kill every single tank in the game. Whenever you spawn in, your x-ray view of your tank on the bottom left of your screen will flash until your spawn protection runs out. A destroyed enemy tank will stay on the battlefield until they respawn or leave the match. You can see the bottom of lakes using the IR flashlight. Every nation in the game has a Sherman. 
Some tanks have hull mounted machine guns that work. If you press the ALT key and use the correct number combinations on the numpad, you can type symbols in the in-game chat. I have left a link in the description with a couple of examples. After an update, your bushes have a chance of floating in the air. You can shoot inside of another tank's barrel, and the shell has a small chance of going inside the tank and killing it. You can customize your tank skins by changing the scale and the rotation of them in the customization menu. If you shoot someone's engine, black smoke will come out. If you shoot the barrel of the R3, it will twist. You can manually control the flaps on flames by setting a keybind. This is very useful when you're in a dogfight or you need to lose some speed quickly. You can take out lightly armored vehicles with smoke shells. If you want to spare ammunition in helicopters, you can change your rate of fire. If your plane has a lot of rockets or bombs, you can set up a keybind and hold that key to fire all of them after one another. This is very useful for close air support and bombers. If somebody is spamming their radio, you can block their commands by racking on their name and clicking disable radio. It is impossible to fall into the well in the A point in the El Alamein. A man has fallen into the well in the El Alamein. Start the new rescue helicopter. Hey, build the helicopter. And off to the rescue. Prepare the wallet. Lower the game. And make the purchase. The new KA-50 Black Shark from Gaijin Entertainment. If you need to call an artillery strike somewhere near you, you can press the middle mouse button to change the camera view on the artillery strike. Likewise, if you see an enemy, you can ping them on the minimap by holding Alt and click on where they are on the minimap. If you call an artillery strike near you, the commander will say this. My location! If you run out of machine gun ammo, you can go to a captured point and resupply the ammunition. When you're in an SPAA with striking radar and you track a target, the target will stay tracked even if you're in the driver view. You can repair your engine, transmission, turret ring, elevation gear, and your gun barrel if they are completely broken. It will only be repaired to 40% of its original state though. You can open and close your cockpit in planes or helicopters. And if you keep your cockpit on during takeoff, it will break off and you will fly without the hatch.
The rocket on the RBT-5 is bigger than the L3 Sankat. You can open your map in your browser. This is very useful if you have multiple screens. The radar on anti-air vehicles still work if they get destroyed. The missile on the IT-1 in the test drive doesn't exist, but you can still shoot it. You can destroy an enemy tank by shooting a high caliber explosive shell under it. The World War II tank with the highest BR is the mouse. The mouse is also the heaviest tank in the game, weighing 188 tons. The lightest vehicle in the game is a French P-70 anti-air vehicle, weighing 2.2 tons. And if anybody was wondering, one mouse is approximately 85 P-70s. If you buy a Soviet T-3 tank, you get a free hammer and sickle decal. You cannot blow up bombs with rockets. The invest XP bar in squad vehicles is green. If you're trying to be friendly to enemies, you can disable your AI gunners and planes. The Doe 335 can still fly if it doesn't have one of its propellers working. Not very well, mind you, but it can still land in case of an emergency. You can take off from a carrier in Normandy if you have a naval plane and tank RB. If a torpedo drops on land, it will release confetti. The French air tree doesn't have any biplanes. Before the Italian Air Force was announced, there were six Italian planes in the German air tree. You can kill yourself with your own bombs by spawning in a tank and blowing yourself up. On the way. Oh, what, what, what if I press? Oh my god, it's so fast following. Do we have 10 second delay on? Please tell me we do. We, oh my gosh, we just have enough time. Uh, here we go. Boom. Go, 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 go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And it will take like three more seconds to spawn in once it goes there. Oh, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The modern Italian tank crew still have World War II uniforms. If your tank or bushes get dirty, you can drive onto a body of water and get them back to their original state. This will also temporarily leave a watermark on your tank. You can turn your stabilizers on and off with the keybind. There is no real use for this other than giving you an extra challenge. The German captured tanks all have a letter at the end of them. The letters stand for the country they were originally from. The designated name for the captured tanks is Beutepanzer. The current list of all Beutepanzers are R for Russland, T for Czechoslovakia, and A for America. The German captured planes, however, received a Balkan cross. 
The most expensive premium vehicle in the game is the M26 T99, costing 15,730 golden eagles, which is equivalent to 105 euros. And finally, if you look inside the Chapayev, you can see some drinking glasses. Thank you for watching. I want to give a special thanks to Clank and Spank, Chiller, Trujello, Niels, and Philip from my Discord server for helping me with this video. If you want to join, the link will be in the description. Credits to all the clips used in the video will also be in the description. If you have any more cool and goods, leave them in the comments for a possible second video. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.